took three months to complete all the subject notes and i realized that it's not possible it's not possible to remember all the 40 copies okay it's not possible so that time i remembered that i had taken the revision notes and now is the time to study the revision notes so my rank dropped to about 960 i thought that for 960 i am i there to get like this rank means i felt demotivated in my medicine postings i used to go into the what measure the vitals uh, in the morning then i used to check my review my gt performance i used to study only six to seven hours a day or maximum up to eight hours a day in the night i didn't have much of sleep i took two clonazi pump pills still i didn't have that much of sleep so in the exam hall uh, there was no ac you all have seen many videos on the internet regarding how to crack neat pg exam but there are only a very few videos that share the authentic journey of the aspirant during cracking the NEET PG exam. So, hello guys, I am Dr. Mayu Khajra. I secured AIR 29 in my very first attempt. So, if you listen to my journey and how I prepared, I think it would give you a better insight to how to prepare for NEET PG and also what mistakes you should avoid and what all thoughts come into play how to manage them everything you are going to get in this video because chanakya also said that an intelligent person doesn't learn from his own mistake he learns from others mistakes as my final year exams got over then i had a clarity in my mind this clarity is very much important I had the clarity that I want a seat in the mat in a good college from a good city. So I had this clarity. Now how to crack the exam? I didn't think about that. Though there were toppers from my college like AIR 3 in INI set or AIR 62 in NEET PG. But I decided that let me try it on my own. Let me experiment on myself and if i can't crack in the first attempt then i would sort help but i had the confidence that uh, the kind of student i am i am going to crack in the first attempt and i had confidence in my experimentation also so my internship started in the month of may first of may so i am going to divide my internship into two phases the first four months and the next six months because after 10 months the need pg was taking place in the first phase of my internship uh, my internship schedule was mess okay it was not made for the need pg exam because during the beginning i got the shots and comment and during the end i got all the hectic postings <laughs> so for in internship perspective it is not a very good choice or uh, we were not given choice it was not a very good posting i would say for the internship so it started with short subjects so during the short subjects i used to take my notes in my mobiles pdfs i used to read during the i posting also i used to read uh, till 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. our OT or the OPDs used to run so I used to study between that and uh, when coming back home I used to take the revision notes that I knew that the revision notes will be the key to success so I used to take them so first four months my preparation was based on which posting I am attending I used to learn that faculties used to ask questions on that so i used to prepare like that and i used to take the revision notes so it was not very much systemic or not very much organized i didn't use to solve any pyqs but i used to keep the grand test okay as soon as my internship started even though i have not completed studying all subjects but i used to give my gts and you can see the score of my gt also my first GT. So like this, it was a bit haphazard, lacked systemic approach. In the month of October, 
the notice came that NEET PG is going to take place in the month of March and only six months were left. At that time, my seriousness struck that uh, now I have to prepare. Ada jol khe neme porte hobe in Bengali. Okay, so I have to be fully prepared for the NEET PG exam. Now, uh, what I did, I started my first reading from all the notes that I had taken during the MBBS. You can see the notes, they are very much vast. So I started my first reading, uh, completing the subject wise approach. All the subject had two to three notes and it took a lot, lot time. It took three months to complete all the subject notes. And I realized that it's not possible. It's not possible to remember all the 40 copies. Okay, it's not possible. So that time I remembered that I had taken the revision notes and now is the time to study the revision notes. So I started in the later three months, I started studying the revision notes and I started solving the previous year questions also and GTs so I used to give. So when I started uh, reading the revision notes and the marrow GT standard gets hard, uh, but difficult during the December month, the beginning of the January also. So my rank dropped to about 960. I thought that for 960, I, am I there to get like this rank? Means I felt demotivated, but I also realized that they are making the question standard not like neat PG, like in neat PG recall I gave without seeing any questions from the recall videos, I got 654 marks. So I had in my mind that no, I need to focus. I need not to focus what the institute is giving in the questions that they are framing difficult questions. So I am going to study those difficult topics. No, I'm going to review the questions, but I am going to stick to my source that is the revision notes and the previous year questions. So more and more I used to solve the previous year questions and I used to annotate them in my notes. In my notes, I used to annotate them uh, so that when I read those notes, I focus on them more because reviewing the questions uh, repeated times, it would take more time also. So two things I have combined in one the previous year questions and the revision notes I have combined in one to form the best material that is for neat PG at least for myself but after that the uh, hectic postings came into play a bit of medicine was there during my medicine postings I used to go into the ward measure the vitals uh, in the morning then I used to check my review my GT performance I used to review uh, before the round started after round I used to do some work then uh, in the afternoon they used to leave so I used to return and study a bit then in the evening rounds I used to go again come in the night during the ad days and post ad days we had uh, 36 hours of shift uh, during the medicine duties Oh, one or two days I used to give replacement when I had to give the GTs, okay? Because I never missed a GT. Uh, giving GT in the right time was my plan. After that, a bit of uh, bit of uh, relaxed posting came into play, like the ENT, like the dermatology. And just one week before my NEET PG exam was the surgery posting okay so that posting i gave fully replacement and the orthopedics posting also i attended one day and uh, five days i gave replacement because last three weeks i focused completely on the studies i focused completely because you have seen many toppers saying that the last month of preparation is very much vital and the most vital part is the last 10 days so for me it was the last three weeks that changed my game as i solved more and more pyqs before the last three weeks uh, i got more and more corrects and finally my rank came to be about something 72 and i was confident that i am going to give it my best shot in the neat pg exam and i the last three weeks 
I didn't used to study much. I would say you. I used to study only six to seven hours a day, or maximum up to eight hours a day. So that last three weeks, I used to study seven to eight hours a day, and fully focused, fully focused. No duties. Only one day I went to dermatology, and one day I went to orthopedics. Rest all day I used to focus on studies. So the NEET PG exam date came. and my center was in baroipur so it is about 26 kilometers away from kolkata though i filled in kolkata only so i went there i stayed and it was in an engineering college only so in the night i didn't have much of sleep i took two clonazi pump pills still i didn't have that much of sleep and uh, i didn't had the uh, worry that it's going to uh, cause me next day uh, sleepiness because Uh, if i was in very much stress i used to take uh, it to reduce stress and induce sleep but don't try this i would say because it adjusted to my body if you are trying for the first time you can feel drowsy in the uh, during the exam also so in the exam hall uh, there was no ac but as the fans were running na it reduced the sound of the ticking sound and the disturbances so it was a boon for me a boon in the form of being okay there was no ac but the fans running marks the sound so i could fully concentrate in my questions and uh, there was some glitch uh, the center was lacking in the speed of internet uh, but i kept the exam i was sure that i am going to get 630 plus i came out i had some confusions i straight away while going only i started getting the recall videos so after going home i watched the recall videos after one or two days of analysis i came to the point that i am getting 677 marks in this year neat pg exam and one n academy rank predictor was also there so i put my marks and it gave a rank of 49 to 62 47 to 62 rank i am going to get so i thought um, that i can get in top 50 at least in 50 to 100 i am getting the rank i was confident in that now when the result came into play i saw that um, and some of my colleagues only called me that they are not getting a good rank they were expecting a better marks and they have got a less marks many variations were there 20 to 30 marks variation was there so i got a bit of tense and when i saw into my screen it was 29 means I took my mother with me. 29 is it real? I checked my that one twice and it came to be 692. So 677 marks. There were four controversial questions, which I took them to be wrong. Now this is where the luck plays the role. Okay, this is where the luck plays the role. So I took the four questions wrong. in worst possible scenario i was getting 677 marks and in the best possible scenario i was going to get the 697 marks so it was near the best possible scenario only uh, three answers got correct out of those four and uh, that changed my rank from 50 60s to 29 okay so this is where the luck plays its role so i think this uh, video was interesting for you to listen and you got an insight that how to tackle with the demotivation or how you can get a good rank also without studying uh, 11 hours 12 hours with, with studying 8 hours only because i used to study 7 to 8 hours and i used to focus uh, on my daily health uh, with nutritious diet and daily exercise of 1 to 1.5 hours that boosted my memory that boosted my confidence and that also boosted my concentration that is the main thing so uh, the learning hours doesn't matter the quality of learning you are doing matters and the exam hall day performance also matters and as i said the luck has the last laugh 10 to 20% of what you are going to get depends on the luck also so be a believer uh, if you are not a believer in god uh, be a believer that life has something that uh, it i am going to 
get to my destination if i work hard if you believe god pray to god if you don't believe in god pray to the nature that it's going to take me to the way that i am destined to so i hope this video was helpful for you and if you felt uh, this video was nice and helpful to you so do consider hitting the subscribe button like you hit the mcq correct option okay mcq ka correct option soch ke hit kar do wo wala wrong nahi hoga main ye tumhe guarantee deta hu and you can also join to my telegram channel also i am trying to make it active and you can join and become a member of my channel also then you get access to premium telegram channel where i update important things and notices and the price is also my all in their hang only that is 29 per month and you can also follow me on instagram because i am going to post some educational videos on it and some are already there and on threads i am going to post some of the dermatological clinical scenarios that are important for neat pg or interesting cases i am going to post it there so all the best bye bye